Hey everybody, welcome back to Shrill Seafood and Soul Food Spiritual Kitchen. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well. Well, I want to start this um, video off with a prayer and it goes like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right, everybody. Hey, how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to another video. Well, today I have for you, I'm going to cook you guys something simple today. I'm going to cook you guys some chow mein, okay? My little quick and easy way. It's a real easy recipe, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing like, you know what I'm saying? But it's my recipe, and I like it, and it's really delicious. And if you want to try it, you can do it, and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Here it goes, okay? So first, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with these noodles here, okay? These are the kind of noodles that I like to use for the chow mein, okay? And I get these noodles out of, out of this. This is how I, I, didn't, I don't get the... You can use whichever kind of pasta or noodles that you want for chow mein, okay? You could use the sake uh, yoba noodles or what have you. I don't even, I'm not even sure if these are, these might be sake yoba noodles. I'm not sure, but this is where I'm gonna show you what I got them out of. I get the noodles from this pack here. This is really good. I actually like it, okay? So this is what I use, okay? You guys, like I say, y'all can get the other kind, the bag noodles and use like what you like, but this is what I like to use, okay? So this is how I do this. I'm gonna bring this over here so you can see. Oh, first of all, I want to show you the ingredients that I use for this um, this, this chow mein that I'm finna uh, fix you guys. Okay, so I use this is what I use. I'm gonna use onions. I'm gonna use uh, bean sprouts, carrots, uh, celery, and green onions. Okay, and I'm gonna use some. Um, soy sauce and a little bit of sesame seed oil okay so come over here and this is what we're gonna do okay you can see the pot good so we're gonna start with the noodles and i'm gonna put place though all, i'm using three of them so i'm gonna place all three of these in the water like so and then over here i'm going to put some olive oil in the pot Yes, I'm glad to be back with you guys. Okay, this is going to be kind of a voiceover, y'all, so don't worry. Because I got it on the pod, so you'll hear me. I mean, you you could, you know, you'll hear me more than you'll see, you know, me. So, but that'll make, it's, it's cool. It's cool. That's, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> so, we're going to put the olive oil in here. We have these boiling until they get so soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring, and I'm gonna start with the onions. I'm gonna put the onions there in the, skill, in the pot. I'm gonna just bring all these over here so you guys can see me put them in. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna start with the carrots, the celery, and then I am going to let this saute, okay? We're gonna start with all the vegetables. Meanwhile, this, when it gets, you don't wanna let the noodles boil over. You just kinda wanna let them break up like, cause you're also gonna put them to heat again. So I usually wait until they get like this and then I take them and I strain them. So I'm gonna take these and strain them really quick. Now, oh yeah, and also here I have some uh, chicken. This is the chicken that I use. This is grilled chicken and this is the chicken that I am going to use for the chow mein, okay? So we're gonna set that aside too, okay? Up 
Yes, everybody. I'm so glad to be back cooking for you guys. Yes, yes. I love to come over here and cook for y'all. And I thought this would be a great recipe because me, I love chow mein, like absolutely love it. Like it's one of my favorite Chinese uh, dishes is chow mein. And you know, a lot of people don't know how to master it to make it really taste like they make it taste, but I found a recipe that I created my own self that is close enough for me and it's really delicious. And I thought I would come on here and share it with you all. Yes, yes. So remember we have the noodles over there resting. And right now we are sauteing the vegetables. That's what we're doing right now. Yes, yes. We're going to get a good saute on those. Make the fan, see if it can reach me. If I got my fan going, it's hot where I am, y'all. Is it hot where you guys are too? Are you guys having a heat wave like I am? Like we are out here where I am? Cause it's heat waving, honey, I'm telling you, it's hot out here, it is hot, okay? It's been hot for the last few days, it's been really, really nice, you know? So like when it's this kind of weather and it's hot, it's really hot where you guys are too, Make sure you guys keep the sun out. Keep them drunk. Keep them blinds drawn. Keep the sun out. Cause when you let that, when you let the heat, the blind, the light in, you let the heat in. I tell you. So that's the best way. And if you have air conditioning, that's even better. Everybody ain't, you know, don't have air conditioning. So you, you have to use either the fans you have in your house, or you know what I'm saying, just bought fans. You know what I'm saying. And sometimes the fans that you have in your house don't work as good as a built-in air conditioning fan does. Like that really keeps your house cool. Because I remember when I used to live where it was really, really hot like the whole summer, like where they really got the whole, you know, four seasons like that. And I mean, when it was summer, when it's hot, it was hot. But see the place where I was at, it was hot out there but the, the unit had air built in air conditioner so you stay cool even though it's burning up out there it'd be cool in your house like the casinos you know what I mean yeah so that's the best thing to do if you have a if you actually if you have a fan an air conditioning fan built in your house then that's like you know that's the best cool air that you can really get yes so yeah you all I miss you and I, you know, I want to just thank all my subscribers. Yes, yes. I want to thank you guys. You know, even the ones who are just now joining me, who's new to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel and supporting the cause. And, you know, my topics, the things that I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, and relationships. And, yeah. And coming on here and watching me cook some of this good food that I'm cooked, you know. And, shout out, you know, yeah. Get things out there to you guys. I thank you all for supporting my channel. I really do. It's growing and I thank you guys. I thank God first, you know what I'm saying? Because without him, none of this would be possible. So, you know, I'm giving my thanks to him first and I thank all of you also. I am so grateful, I really, really am. Like for each and every one of you, I am so grateful. And I just be glad when I get everything going the way I really, you know, fully and I can just, you know, really have, you know, more for you guys. Because that's my goal, to have more for you guys. You know what I mean? More and more and more. More content, more, more things for you guys. Just everything, you know? So, yeah. That's my goal. It's happening slowly but surely. So yeah. So now when you had get this kind of rendered down, what you want to do is add the bean sprouts. And then after you add the bean sprouts, you want to add your meat. So I'm adding the meat. As you see me putting it in the pot, and see the pot, you can see me putting the meat in. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna bring you guys over here to the pot again. Okay. Yeah. And so now we have, this is how it is. You have all the vegetables, the bean sprouts, and the chicken in there. So at this point, what I do is I take these packets. Hold on a second. So what I do is take these packets. Pour them over in here, like so. Kind of did all three of them at the same time, just in case you. And then after I do that, what I do is I add some soy sauce to this. And then I add some sesame seed oil, okay? Just a little bit because sesame seed oil goes a long way. It's pretty strong, I'm gonna tell you. And then at that point, I take the noodles. And then you wanna just put your noodles off over there, okay? Like so. And then you want to just stir it all up together, like. Ah. Yeah. Like so. And you don't want to let your noodles sit too long after you um, take them off because they will stick. So you don't want them to stick. You, you want your noodles to stay, you know, nice and separately. You don't want no sticky, sticky noodles, but you know. And then you just kind of stir it in. Oh, I love it. Just support because of it. Yeah, see? Oh my God, this is delicious. It smells really delicious and it looks really delicious. And then after you get it all mixed in, you can see if you want to add some more soy sauce or not for the color or what have you. It's really simple. Another one of my 30 minute meals, y'all. I'm telling you, sometimes you don't. And I think at this point, I want to put a little, a little bit of more soy sauce in mine. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. Yes, and then And look at this, y'all. Get y'all a little bit closer so y'all can actually see the outcome. See that? Look at that. That's chicken chow mein. I ain't quite done yet. You get it all mixed up. Mmm, this looks so good and it smells so good. 
And then what you want to do is take your green onions, kind of sprinkle them over. Yeah, see that? Look at that. Don't that look good? Delicious. And now we're going to try some. How about that? Oh, man, I love shower. So, you know, when I put on finally mastered this you guys and really and I seen that it came out right like and I said okay because I actually tried it exactly a few times but it wasn't it didn't come out to my satisfaction so now And here you have it. Hold on. Right. Now, let's see. Sorry, y'all. I got to keep doing this, but when you're working off the tripod, that's what you got to do. Anyway, so now let's try it. You see how it came out? It's so good. Can you see it? Look at that. This is my chow mein. Y'all can't tell me that don't look like chow mein because yes, it do. Oh, now we're going to try it. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, look at that. Just like chow mein. Oh, I love these noodles. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. This is so good. Oh, wow. You see? And there you have it. Just that quick, simple chicken chow mein in a snap. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 You have everything here, including the flavor that you would have in regular chow mein, I'm telling you. This is delicious, okay? And you have every vegetable from the onions to the carrots to the bean sprouts to the chicken. And you can use whatever chicken, I mean, whatever meat that you choose, chicken, shrimp, like pork, beef, whatever. But this is good. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Tell you, good food make you dance. Mm, 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 mm. Nah, <laughs> but this is so good, y'all. So let me put the top on this because that is just so good. And then until the next video, I will be back. Until the next video, you guys stay blessed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with another video with you guys soon. In the name of Jesus, I pray you guys. God bless y'all. Amen. Good night.